tiny pony toes! Ha, <laughs> ah, what's up guys? Adel here, your favorite Brindad YouTuber, and today I have a very sore, sprained wrist. Feels fucking bad, man. <laughs> In the last episode, we, um, we were heading back into the Galaxy Headquarters to go ahead and talk to Celine and try to get another main story quest. I'm actually having a lot of fun progressing the main story, although I wasn't too happy with how the Cleaver fight turned out. It was a little bit boring. Maybe I'm in the minority there, but I don't know why I would ask you to fight Cleaver four times consecutively. Oh my god. <laughs> there are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one do you check? All of them. The back alley Mr. Mime. It seems that Mr. Mime has taken up residence here in Jubilife. But its eerie movements are making Andra, one of the villagers, a touch nervous. Speak to the poor chap and lend him your aid. Alright, Andra, we'll come, we'll come to your aid at some point. A peculiar ponyta. Yoda, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange ponyta. You must investigate the matter for the good of science. A peculiar ponyta. There are no other requests. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Um, oh, it also says that there's something up there. Not Celine, obviously. Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you become inca incapacitated, recruit. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, yes. Okay, Celine. I see you're making good progress with your work on the Pokedex. I expect you'll earn a promotion and rank soon. Wow, Celine. You are so cold, Toma. It's amazing that Captain Celine has acknowledged your potential. Wow, thank you, Soma. That's so nice of you. Uh, looks like we need to go talk to Commander Kamado. Kamado, Tomato. Kamado. I'm here to report for duty. Hm, well done. I've already received their reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us. One who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the Galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties. And prove to that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. You know, maybe this episode... We should focus on basically just eliminating all the side quests because I, I feel as if pretty soon we're going to have a change in uh, region or in like subsector rather. So before we do that, I want to eliminate all the side quests and then go from there. Benny, old chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping a storm about you, our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off the cleaver. I dare say Adel was well prepared. And he was a quick study of how cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. I just bit my tongue. Ouch. We can, we can feel safer going about survey core duties now thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why don't I try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Wow, those... Sitfoot roots. Mm. Caster fern leaves. I don't think we've seen either one of those, which probably means we're going to a new, a new area. Lovely! And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Firelands their home. Where's Where's OG Decidui at? I want OG Decidui. Ada. Huh? Me? Vessa. I've been waiting for you, Ada. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Man, there's something... Why is there always creepy little girls in, like, any town I go into? Spiritual, possessed little girls. Or maybe you did something bad. Oh, no, she's just a normal one. Oh, she's just a meek, shy one. Um, this is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. What is this expedition dump? Who are you? So please, Adel, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Who are you, Vessa? Where did you come from? How do you know all of this? Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just need you to be willing to help. This odd keystone is yours. Keep it safe. I'm so excited about this odd keystone. It makes me feel... Is odd keystone for Spiritomb? 
Oh, 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 spirit tomb! A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. Oh, I'd love to see a feral spirit tomb, an alpha spirit tomb. That'd be sick. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the suey. 107 of them in total. Oh, God, no! My collect-a-thon journey is just beginning. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I should have... Done this first and then adventured. I'm so sad. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame over hovering over there? Try touching it. 107, so starting with 106. Oh, that's so frustrating to me, dude. God damn it. Another collectathon. Very reminiscent of like the Isle of Armor diglets. Ooh. Will o' Wisp. It's a Litwick, ain't it? Come into my very soul, Will o' Wisp. I'm now burned. The Wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining Wisps. And one last thing as you gather more and more Wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait for here while you carry out your search. Good luck. Eerie apparitions in the night. Hmm. Well, that'll be fun. I hope that they don't only come out during the night, though. I hope I'm able to, like, see them during any other part of the day. Because, obviously, the night is the... What is it? The, the most time-constraint portion of the day. Especially in this game. Wow, the Galaxy Men... The Galaxy Team Hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge? <gasps> oh, hey, you're Adel, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Who's to say? You're kind of cute. <laughs> you can't fool me. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of what, of you for doing something so bold. I'm er Erezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, Snip. But I came here to talk to, you, to Mr. Kamado. See you around. Bye, Erizu. Wait, Erizu has a predicament. Ain't that real convenient for Erizu that we just happen to be around? Okay, so... Oh, another... Another side... A lot of side quests. Wow. What's going on, Choi? You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? Not necessarily. I'm not interested in your marketing ploy. Well, listen to what I have to say, would you? Tao Hua refuses to provide me with new goods to offer. It puts me in a tight spot. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but it make it three to make it safe. I'd make it three to make it safe. Getting hold of new wares. That's a new item. I don't think I have any hearty grains, period. Yeah. All of this is really telling us that we're about to venture into a new aim throw. Don't stop. Hit the targets. Watch him pop. Aim, go, don't, stop, hit the targets, watch up. Hey, sport, you some target practice? All you have to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Even got some fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you manage to make a thousand points, ten thousand points, you'll be in a real for a treat. You'll be in for a real treat. Uh, if you're up for the challenge, just let me know. I'm usually to be found in the practice field. Aim for the big leagues. Well, that's obviously something that we're going to have to do. A sapu. Um, practice field over there, okay. The cleaning never stops around here. Hey, Shinon. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it, go it grows. Try asking Anise from the Medical Corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. The search for bitter leaves. Okay. Well, it says there's some other side quests over there. I don't think there's any on that side right now. There's quite a few side quests. Hey, it's little boys. What's going on, pal? What you need? Show. Show and whack it. Oh, hey, survey guy. Know what? You need to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? To be wicked smart, obviously. Nope. Okay, show. You no fucking need for that. I mean, I guess that's also important. But you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as 100 people. I really want to catch a Pokemon my own so day, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're the Survey Corps and all. Could you just give me five of your Pokeballs, please? What it takes to be awesome. Um, okay. 
I don't really want to give you five Pokeballs. That's annoying. Take him. Okay, take him then. Take him, show. Give me five Pokeballs. No. I bet you have loads of them. Oh my god. Sure. This seems like really irresponsible and promotes like these children to, to do this. Even if they're just aiming, you know, it might promote them to like run outside the village and get basically all fucked up. Irresponsible without a somebody to watch them. Woohoo! Now I can catch a pirate Pokemon of my own! Here's a reward just for you. Some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zisu. She knows all about it. What it takes to be awesome. Complete. Anyway, I'm going to practice loads of the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokemon that would be a great partner for me, let me know so I can go catch it. Hmm. I'll let you know the next time I see Magikarp. Hey, Bellamy. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me of somehow my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime. Measuring your compatibility. Check out my Decidueye. I know my Decidueye and I have kind of had a tumultuous re relationship, considering that I've let Decidueye or Horusfell die so frequently. But I'm hoping that through it all, he, he's decided to stick through me here, and it'll show in his affectionate meter. How about it? Ready to show me some of the friendly Pokemon you US? Here, take this. Please say yes. Please say yes. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You're a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother is precisely like you, the type of person who understands the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible person Pokemon are. If you like, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Any reward for that? Rare or candy. Okay. Well, that's basically just introducing the affectionate, uh, or the affection meter. Uh, moves like return, which increase and uh, and damage depending on how much affection they have. And I believe it's not not facade. Um, I can't remember what the other the inverse move that is, where it does more damage uh, the less they like you. I don't think it's retaliation, but it, it's something. Hey, a pariah. Pyra, 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 Pariah. Hey, listen to this. I saw something out in the wild. Oh, it was incredible. What was it? The thing I saw, a will-o'-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on a windswept run the other night, it leaved me like, woo! <laughs> okay then, I don't believe you. At it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will-o'-wisp with my own two eyes. A red one. Oh yeah? Then why don't you show it to me, huh? Good luck with that. Walker, you little turd. It's so frustrating, he won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're with the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a Will-O-Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? What Pokemon from the Diamond and Pearl series is reminiscent of a Will-O-Wisp? A red, a small red, other than like actual like Litwick? Well, I don't even, I don't, I don't even think was introduced in Diamond and Pearl. I think that was black and white. Man, my lore is all kinds of, 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 Fucked up. A new request over here as well. Damn, we've got a ton of new requests. A litany of requests. All these requests, but not enough time. I sure would love some help from my strong... From some strong strapping type. Hey, you're in the survey, folks, ain't you? Just the fellow I was looking for. I'm working to make these airfields bigger. But the ground sure is how to plow, so I'm looking for my chop. For someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together after all, right? So if you have a ground-type Pokemon, can I borrow it? Um, ground-type. I have, yeah, I have Gastrodon, but I don't want to give it to you. I also have Geodude. I'm a little bit apprehensive about giving this Pokemon. I should want to give up this Pokemon, yes, see? Fuck that, I would never give up Gastrodon for to this Miller. Your Pokemon sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wowie! It's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How it's doing that? Maybe I should have waited to do this quest, actually. Now that I think about it, if, if this Geodude, like, is indefinitely going to be in the town, we could have given him, like, an ex extra epic Pokemon and have it, like, just reside in the town 24-7, right? I hope that this disappears, because now I'm kind of feeling, like, ugh. I'm feeling regret. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. 
We keep your Pokemon here. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work for a little bit longer. Just save it to Hall if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool, cool. More fields available for farming. So I like how um, the developers recognize that that might have been a thought for some of the people. Because now I can switch this out for a more epic Pokemon at some point. Which I'm definitely just going to throw a legendary Pokemon in there. Uh, and then I guess now we're going to go practice our... our throwing capabilities. I'm pretty confident in my uh, capabilities to throw, despite the fact that I do fuck up when I'm on the run. Let's go. My my uh, my wrist might kind of inhibit me here a bit, but line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball. Practice, 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 and be the best of all. If you manage to break that 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real tree, I can tell you that. What do you say, sport up for the challenge? Let's go. You bet. And it's free? Not even like Zelda where I gotta pay to play? Oh, baby. Bonk. I love catching these drift blimps. I really should be lining these up, right? Because I want combos. I love combos. 10,000 points is what you, you wanted to start me off with? That seems kind of dickheadish, don't you think, buddy? We can get up to a million, apparently. Which means I probably have to get much better at this. 100 points. Wait, well, we have a whole minute for this, too. What the fuck? It's kind of insulting that, that 10,000 points is, like, the only thing that they require of us, huh? Oh, I gotta catch him all! Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Call in the reinforcements. Come on, I want to get like a whole row. I should have thought about that initially. I'm normally like pretty good with these. Come from the side, maximize our points. Nice, I like that. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta focus really hard here. I know that I said, oh, well, look, I'm quite adept at throwing Pokeballs, but I do want a good score still. Maybe if we're just walking into them, we'll get some point. Damn, that's a big ass one. Three hit throw. Look at this roll of yellows. Nice. Love that. Love that. Love that. Bonk, 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 bonk. Right here. Right here. Four. Nice. 20 seconds left. Wait a second. I feel like it was 20 seconds left a while ago, too. Are we getting more time on our timer? Yes, we are. Five seconds. Extra five seconds. Maybe... Now I can understand. I, I hope that we don't have to farm for a million points on this, dude. That'd be so fucking aggravating. Oh, my God. Uh, let's combo these. Combo these. I need another one of those reinforcement horns, which means I got to get more points here. Damn it. Okay, 150,000 points. That's quite a bit of points. Your score this time was 151,000 points. Now, isn't that something? You, you set yourself a record. Well done. Like I said, I got a prize lined up to give out, depending on how well you did. Based on your score this time, here's a prize just for you. Uh, three bags of Stardust. Well done, sport. Since you broke the, through the 10,000 point mark, you get the real prize. Aim for the big leagues. 15 great balls, one nugget. Don't you don't think you gotta stop here? Keep aiming higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. The better you do, the better prizes I hand out. Ah oh, man. Hold on, I wanna look this up. I wanna look this up. I need to see what the maximum score is uh, for the maximum reward. Okay, so apparently the rewards are randomized, and getting up to a million points doesn't actually net you any like significant item. There's no like, um, I wanna say like uh, point ceiling that gets you the best item uh, from what I was able to like, derive from the information on Google. Despite the fact that the game is still pretty early on in, um, in like, its information development online, I, I don't think that there's anything for us to net. Maybe one, at some point we'll try for a million points, but I doubt that you're going to be too... Yeah. We gotta find an alpha fucking weasel, dude. 2-8 just does not exist. It's impossible. It is... Literally impossible. Obviously not literally impossible, but it feels like it's like it's intangible for me right now. Uh, Zubat's eyes. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to her and her house. We have to specifically target these side quests, otherwise we won't be able to to access these people within their houses. Because I mean, I'm not gonna go into these fucking houses. Oh, but she's not in a house. Whoa, look at you, Clarissa, making me look like a dumbass. Hi, Clarissa, the security core. That's me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. 
I need you to capture Zubat and show it to me so I can look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I've got a good reason for it. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in the pitch darkness. That means their night vision could be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts on Gardu would be a breeze. So I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and come show me it, would you? I'm pretty sure Zubat don't have eyes. Um, they use uh, echo location. Yeah. Echo location sonar. I'll just take a look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. Oh, poor Zubat. Poor fucking Zubat. Huh? Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me he doesn't have eyes. But but that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind. Inconceivable. Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. <sighs> That's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Get a partner, Zubat? Oh, I was literally about to say that. I was going to say, get your own Zubat then. Duh. Oh, that's a good idea. No wonder. No need for me to get go it alone after all. A little help would be great. That's that then. I'll get out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. You can have this one. I don't really need it. It's just going to get released anyways. So would you like this, Zubat? Maybe? Uh, Cricket Top, Pokedex Entry of Cherim. We... We don't have a complete Pokedex entry for Cherim yet, either. Uh, Yoda wants to talk about Ponyta. And these are all some of the new ones. Um, hmm. Number 22 is kind of a pain in my ass, huh? I'm going to have that for a long time. 107. It's twice spiced radish. I wonder what that does. Radish. I don't know why I said that so weird. Uh, Vildre, Andre, this Mr. Mime. Okay, so let's go talk to Andre about... Or Andra. Was it Andre or Andra? Andra. Let's go talk to him about this Mr. Mime. Oh, hello. Thanks again for finding me those orange berries. I had a wretched time in the fieldlands, getting harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got at me with a few of their moves. But I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I didn't even have a chance to use all the orange berries you got me, but they made a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much. Asking that, uh, asking that fellow at the headquarters to help me fit more in my statue was definitely the right move. So, helpful soul that you are. I suppose you're here to about my request to the professor. On to the matter at hand, then. Would you mind investigating the Mr. Mind that's taking up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon among us is scary enough, and then there's this eerie way it moves. The Security Corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a Security Corps person like you can help me out. Or Survey Corps. Look, it's over there! See what it's up to, would ya? Find a way to approach Mr. Mime. Okay, well then I'll just go from behind. That doesn't seem too hard. Oh, well, this is a bummer, ain't it, ladder? Let's go from the back. I, I thought I was clever. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go from the back. Ha, 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 ha. I wonder if it's asking us to catch this Mr. Mime. Can we catch it? Nope. It says no. Mr. Mime, hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Nah. He's a huh? Nah. All right, I spooked him off. Now where'd he go now? It ran off that way. It wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we've really got to find out what it's up to. I like how it shows us where it is, unlike Bidoof. I know that the Bidoof hide and seek quest was supposed to be like that, but I hated it. Hey, look, it's Volo. Oh no, it's not Volo. It's just members of the Traveling Merchant Guild. Rare wares, great deals, only the best here. Tooley. Where's Mr. Mime at? Look, that Mr. Mime ran right up there. Okay. Hello, Mr. Mime. Find a way to approach it. See what he's up to. Oh, wow. That's so incredible. This isn't a, a tedious quest at all. I love running all the way around this building for arbitrary reasons. How'd you know? Thank you so much, Game Freak. I don't know who developed this game. I'm pretty sure it's Game Freak. Oh, wait, what? No, stop. Oh, invisible walls, huh? Invisible walls everywhere. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, I like this. Interactive. Interactive gameplay. Mr. Mime, are you putting up invisible walls? What am I supposed to do here? 
Fuck. Is this intended? This way, there we go. It is invisible walls. It is an invisible wall. I understand this now. This is very reminiscent of Kogos, Jim. Yo! Fuck you and your invisible walls. Huh? I imagine some newcomers to this series would be like, Oh my god, what the fuck? It's bugged. It ran off that way. You know, you're... You've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? It's these goddamn invisible walls. What? You're joking. Unless that Mr. Mime is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case, this calls for further research. I've got to go get... I've got to get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. Damn my speech impediment. Damn my capabilities of reading. Don't make me walk all the way around this village to get past this fucking... Hey. How, how do I get back there? There you are. Look, Mr. Mime's over there. Oh, the other one was mine, Omega Lol. Go see if it's really making walls. I thought that was... What are the chances our Mr. Mime is over there? Okay, well... Um, hmm. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Fucking invisible walls. I hate them. I hate them. I hate you! I was so excited to catch you the first time, but god damn, dude. Literally just running myself. I'm trying- it's trying to run again. Wait, you! Whoa, I- I can't go any further. There's definitely something here I can't see. What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like something's got you in a panic. What, Ress? You know this, Mr. Mime? Yep, it hurts me guard the gate sometimes. When it stands out in front and does that eerie dance while Pokemon can't get in, it's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you go all, to all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. If we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. I do agree, though. That's kind of reckless. Or perhaps not an eye. Well, however one watches out for invisible obstacles. Oh, you, you did you like that? Was that funny to you? Auxiliary guard. Ma, ma, mime. Hey, mime. Stop putting up invisible walls. Okay. Um, next request. We're knocking out these requests like nothing. So these these last ones here are probably ones we can't do quite yet. So anything from the peculiar ponytail down? Maybe not the ponytail. Maybe that's the next area too. But maybe it's that rapidash uh, to bloom or not to bloom. Kichi of the Agri Agriculture Corps wants an explanation for Cherim's uh, changeable appearance. He wants to see a completed Pokedex entry for Cherim. How do we? I think I have a Cheruby. Right. Uh, so. I think that's what it's called. I have a Cherubi. I probably can just evolve that one. And then... Well, let's let's make that our quest anyways. Yeah. Bloom or not to bloom. So, we have a Cherubi. Let's, we can probably just evolve it and then go from there. Hey, what the hell? Sort. There we go. Once I haven't done yet. Timber of the Field. Shilio, the completed Pokedex entry for Krikatot. Alright, let's... Oh, actually, let's go talk to the Merchant's Guild first. Merchant's Guild! Rare, rare, rare wares. Only the best here. A fine day to you, my friend. Care to per peruse our top-notch selection of rarities? The Ginkgo Guild cart sells items you won't find at the general store. Iron Bark Tongue. Damn, these are really expensive. This is... Restores PP. Hoppo Berry. Medicinal Lake. Worth $120? Yeah, right, buddy. Hey, Ginter. Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild sells rare items you won't find anywhere else. Hi there. Got a special product in stock. A pinup berry set. Yours for the bargain price of $2,000. What is, what is it, you ask? Well, that's for you to find out after you buy it. What do you say? That's... Man. This better be a cosmetic item. Great choice. All yours, then. Ten pinup berries. Won't be long before our, great ne our next great find. Come again soon, yeah? I'm pretty tired this morning, so my bad. Pinup berry set. I hate that. I hate that it's... I spent $2,000 in pinup berry. I hope that that wasn't a wasted investment. I honestly fucking do. 
So I guess let's go out and about one more time. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's, we have one more request to do, and that's to talk to this, this guy about this ponyta? Ponyta request, I believe? Missions and requests. Requests. Peculiar ponyta. Oh, timber in the fields. Yeah, show you. Alright, well, let's go over. I love that we're just unlocking fast uh, travel markers as we go. Which one are you? Over here. Yoda. What is this about this ponyta? You hear about my ponyta request, right? Glad to, s to have some help at last. Here's the problem. A ponyta like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different than the other ponyta. It's a little scary, to be honest. Is it an <gasps> alpha ponyta? That'd be sick. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it. So we agreed to have the ponyta surveyed and see what's what. If you head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch uh, Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange ponyta for us, it'd really help us out. All right. Well, let's go check out Horseshoe Plains, uh, catch that strange ponyta. And turn in the request for. Turn in the request to. What was it? Yeo? For the Cricket Tune. Cricket Taught. Cricket Taught. Uh, we finished a uh, re research request for Cricket Taught already, so. Are you the one with, who wanted to talk about Cricket Tots? Yeo? Yeah, Yeo. You can fit a Cricket Tots Pokedex page? Great. Quickly now, let me have a look. Read, read, read. Oh, so Cricket Tots produced the curious sound of theirs by hitting their antennae together. Hmm, I wonder if Anvin from the sp Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antennae. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this tonal enigma. Here, take these. The Timber of the Fields. Vivid chokes. Yay, I, I love those. I really do. To complete a Pokemon's page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. I know, oh my god. I definitely went out of my way to catch all of those excess Cricketots. Um, let's... Just do that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, we also probably should create a shit ton of Pokeballs, yeah? Maximum amount should suffice. And then our team is all healthy. All right, let's um, let's pull up Hressfeld and go to Horseshoe Plains. If, if this is going to be that fucking Rapidash again, I'm going to be a little booty tickle. I ain't going to lie. I love how high Stantler can jump. Or, it's not Stantler. Um... What is this Pokemon's name? Werdeer. Werdeer. I love that I can just take all the items while I'm mounted. But I hate the fact that we have to fucking dismount to get the ore. And, quite frankly, I'm like... I'm interested in grabbing some ore right now. Our ore reserves are getting a little bit low. Because we've been a little bit more lax with grabbing ore. Uh, more recently. I love the fact that we can mount it when in combat, though. Or being targeted. Uh, more specifically. I wish we could, uh, like, loot the trees, though, on the mount. We can't do that, which sucks, but no biggie, right? Oh, my God, and I just fucking wasted a Pokeball. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I got an injured wrist, okay? Injured man here. Injured man. Man down, man down. Pokeball on this Ponyta. All right, we at least hit it. I don't think we're going to catch it, but... Please? Please? Oh, <laughs> we got it! Rapid dash. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I kind of want to fight this Rapidash. Level 40 Rapidash. Uh, a lot of our Pokemon are going to die inevitably, but... Nah, we'll fight it at a different time. I know at the very least we can defeat it, but... I kind of want to capture it. Take that, Ponyta. Hop in the ball. Call it a day. Alpha Ponyta, where are you? If it's an Alpha, dude, I'm going to be... Where is it? It doesn't exist, huh? I'm right here. Come on. All right, trigger the cutscene. Alpha, Alpha Ponyta. Never evolve it, by the way. <gasps> oh, shiny Ponyta! <laughs> it's blue. At some point in the series, the Ponyta became uh, the shiny Ponyta became gray, but they brought back blue. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Shiny Ponyta! Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm a little bit less excited about this Ponyta. I must, I must admit, um, only, I can't save either. 
Why can't we save? Is it because we're too f close to Pokemon? I want to save, dude. I want to save a dude. It's a big Ponyta. I want to save. There is a reason I want to save, too. Because I actually... This is a shiny Pokemon. I do want to farm a proper, like, optimal nature for this Ponyta. To turn into Rapidash so that we can at least have one, like, really decent Pokemon, right? Like, one seriously fucking good Pokemon. Obviously, I have to use the, the shiny, just like everybody used shiny uh, Gyarados back in the day, right? But... Okay, I want to save, please. I forgot how to save. There we go. Save our progress. Alright. Time for us to catch this fucking ridiculously awesome shiny Ponyta in the next episode. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching till the end of the episode. I am so fucking hyped to catch this shiny Ponyta. I guess the biggest issue is that um, I'm probably going to grind it a little bit until I get the optimal nature, but then I'll include that final clip of, of me battling the ponytail and getting that optimal nature and then we'll go from there so until next time everybody thank you all so much for watching comment down below make sure to subscribe hit that like button tell me what you like what you didn't like about the video i hate the invisible wall segments of mr mime and i will see you all boop, 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 boop. Oh, fuck. i only one hand boop, 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 in the next one